In this video, I'll be showing you how you can install, activate and configure the WP SERP Fuel WordPress plugin. So once you've downloaded the zip file and once inside of your WordPress blog, you'd install the plugin as you would any other WordPress plugin. You go over to plugins, add new, click on browse, locate the WP SERP Fuel plugin and click on install now. Give your WordPress site a few moments to actually install it, then click on activate plugin. Once the plugin has been activated, the very first thing we need to do is go over to posts and you can go into any post um, that you actually have. So let me just go over to this one here. And we need to, we'll need to scroll down underneath the main editor and it might be somewhere else guys. So it might be, you might find this oops, to be underneath some other areas that you've got down here as well. And as you can see, WP SERP Fuel is now, is now asking you for your access key and your transaction ID. So this has all been emailed over to you. So if you can please enter it now and then come back and we'll actually continue with the video. Okay, so I've just entered my license details here. And as you can see, I've got the enterprise um, version and it's saying license, license is authorized. And it's asking me to refresh the page. So I'm gonna click on refresh page and the page will refresh now and it will show me all of the options available um, to WP SERP fuel. Okay, so if I scroll down now, oops, as you can see, we've got the, oops, where are we? Okay, so this is the area for WP SERP fuel. And what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna actually show you the settings area, and then we can come back on the next video and show you exactly how you can make your fueled posts as well. So now we've activated the plugin, guys. Um, what we need to do is go over to settings, and then go over to WP SERP fuel. And inside of WP SERP fuel settings area, you're gonna have a number of settings depending on your license type. So as you can see, we've got a main feed URL. This is gonna be the feed to our fueled posts. And we've also got the RSS feed link to post feeds. So if you've got the enterprise license, you also get post feeds as well. Here, you can actually enter how many characters you want to show inside of your feed. Um, so let's say, for example, you wanted to show the whole fueled article inside of your field, uh, inside of your feed, sorry, then you keep this on zero. If you want to limit it and restrict it to say 250 characters, which we'll do here just for this example, then we can show you that there. And we'll actually keep this as zero so I can show you both of them working together. Okay, so the RSS feed title, whatever you want to call the title. So I'm gonna call these um, my posts for example. Okay, the max posts to show in your RSS feed. So inside of your RSS feed, how many entries do you actually want to show? Now, the older entries will be removed from your feed as new entries come in. Um, so depending on whatever number you want to keep down here. So I've kept it down as 30. Um, and now you can actually choose if you want to show your default WordPress theme sidebar um, and everything else in your post feeds or you want to disable them. As standard, it's all been disabled. If you want to show your sidebar um, on your actual fueled post, and you can do by clicking this here as well. Now you've got an area to add your article builder API details. If you want to work with spin rewriter or the best spinner, then you can add them here as well none of these are compulsory guys um, it's entirely up to you and it's just there to make your life much easier so just in case you want to spin the parent article then you can work with spin read writer or the best spinner and just in case you wanted to pull articles directly from article builder then you can work with the article builder api as well both um, they're all highly recommended and we work with them all as well and if you want to work with proxies guys then you can enter them here as well now the reason you might want to work with proxies is because the software goes out there and visits google and it gets you related terms it also visits youtube and it also visits Flickr upon your command obviously and if you and if your server was being blocked then you might want to add your proxies here in which case you'll be able to um, query google and get results from google no matter what your server status is um, sorry, regardless of you being blocked or not. Okay, so this is how you work with this, guys. It's super simple, super straightforward. Enter your credentials here. Once you've entered your credentials, you can click on test account and it will tell you if it's been authorized or not. And I'll see you in the next video where I'll be showing you exactly how we can create fueled posts for every post on our WordPress site.